come all over here and check all the birds out. And you can see all day long, we got nice, fresh, beautiful eggs right here. Animals should be having all sorts of different types of food in their diet. Why? Because in the wild, they're not just eating one thing. They're getting fed when they're finding all sorts of different types of things. Not so sure how many birds we have in here right now. We have quite a good amount, probably close. I know we put about 750 eggs inside of here. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in South Florida. Today, you guys, we are going to be showing you all the new business that I have started here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, and that is Blake's Exotic Feeders. If you guys are not knowing what Blake's Exotic Feeders are, well, that is a new business, pretty much what I started, that is just specifically only quail feeders. Some of you guys are probably wondering, what are quail feeders? Well, quail feeders are quails, contorted quails, that we raise up here on the ranch, and we are killing them at five different sizes, humanely, and they're getting bagged up so that we can feed a bunch of different animals all around the world. And what those animals you're probably wondering are what eats quails? Well, we'll go down the list in a minute. So I know a lot of people out there in just Florida alone feed a lot of their lizards, a lot of their snakes, a lot of their birds of prey, chicks, uh, chickens, little chicks. Well, those, to be honest, don't have any protein whatsoever compared to what a quail has. Quail has a lot more protein compared to what a little yellow one day old chick has. So here on the ranch, what animals eat quails here on the ranch? Well, our kookaburra eats quails, our alligators and caiman eat quails, our small clawed Asian otters eat quails, and some of our monster fish eat quails. And on top of that, some of our turtles and tortoises eat quails too. That is not their main diet, but that's just a part of their diet. Animals should be having all sorts of different types of food in their diet. Why? Because in the wild, they're not just eating one thing. They're getting fed when they're finding all sorts of different types of things. For instance, small clawed Asian otter, anything small enough that they get overpowered, they're gonna eat. So lizards, small birds, fish, reptiles, turtles, anything small, they're gonna eat snakes, everything. So uh, one thing that we grow here on the ranch is quail. We're gonna head inside of the otter building and inside of there is that's where we have a ton of different types of animals raising up or hatching inside of there. So we'll show you guys now. All right, so inside of here, we have a couple little incubators that we have going on right now. So right here we have this incubator that holds just about 1800 eggs inside of here. As you can see, we have a ton of eggs that are all in turning motion right now. And those eggs are all incubating. They're all right now just turning, doing their thing. Every uh, 14 days, we're pulling out around 700 to 800 eggs and putting them into their hatching spot. We put them over here, we get them in spot because they're not turning anymore and they start hatching like these right here. So we collect these quails. While we're collecting these quails, we start sorting through them. So we keep all of them, unless we're using them as day old birds. So. They all start falling down, and I promise they do not get hurt if they're falling down. And then, and at the end of the day, people are like, oh, he doesn't care anyways because he's just killing them. Well, no, because these birds need to get, uh, they need to grow to different sizes and all that as well, because if they just die right now, then I won't have the feeder sizes for everybody else. And a lot of people are asking, why do you do this kind of things? Well, at the end of the day, all animals have to eat something, and there has to be a job for everybody. So, like dogs, I've had many, many dog breeders hit me up as well and ask about quail. They said, oh, do you have quails for our dogs? We want to use them for training and all that. And they're not, they don't want live quails. They want um, frozen quail. It was pretty freaking awesome. Here we go. These are all day old birds right here. They're all going to get put into this cage right here. And then they're going to go into the brooders with lights and feed and water. So they grow for different sizes. Some of these birds will unfortunately get humanely euthanized. And that is because a lot of small animals like small little hognose snakes, tree monitors, uh, all sorts of little things eat these uh, small size birds, even small crocs, small gators, small caiman. We're gonna be eating these day old little birds. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how can we buy some of these quails? Unfortunately, we have a small group of people that we're selling to right now until 2024. That's uh, until 2024, that's when we're gonna be completely going full burst open to the public because right now we're just growing our supply and getting all of our adults to size as well because we need a lot of birds to collect a lot of eggs we're getting around three to four hundred eggs every single day but that's not nearly enough to supply the amount of people that are interested in these awesome birds right here for their animals and i know a lot of people are probably saying oh that's so mean and all that but if you have a dog i guarantee inside of that dog food there's some type of animal inside of there and just about every single animal eats meat in some way we're just collecting all these birds right now and then on our brooders we would have about 150 to 200 birds raised up at a time and then the rest of them will be getting put out and put to sleep so what we're gonna do is we'll show you all the bad birds as well in a minute and i know you guys are probably like oh we want to see that but if you guys 
as soft stomachs well, and jump off the video because this is going to be for everybody on the video that keeps animals that eat other animals. Alright, here we go. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, it's it's really cruel to watch other animals and they videotape like feeding live animals and all stuff. No, we don't do that here on the ranch. Everything gets humanely put out and then everything is sold frozen. We do not sell live birds and we do not sell eggs. We only sell frozen birds to people that need it for other animals. All right, here we go. We got a good amount of birds right there. Still some back there. Yeah, I know there's a lot back there. And this is first day hatching. And this should happen about the three, four more times of full entire egg. Do you see like the little guy coming out of the egg right now? See him out? You help him out, he's dry. But then like you have some like this that are still a little too wet and you don't want to touch those yet. You gotta stay in there, stay a little bit longer, just dry it up. See that little white one? They're not ready yet. Go back. I'm not too sure how many birds we have in here right now. We have quite a good amount. Probably close. I know we put about 750 eggs inside of here. If you were gonna divide them up and only put them in rows, it would be only about 500 eggs, but we're able to lay them out real, real nicely and have about 700 birds. So leave the rest of them in there for today. And all these will go out to the brewers and we'll show you that right now. Where everything gets put. Here we go. So this is a little quick little mock-up of Blake's Exotic Feeders as our menu right here. We have one day old, small, medium, large, and extra large. So right here, we have our smalls 50 packs then we have our mediums 15 birds we have smalls 25 birds we also have them in 50 packs we have extra larges right here and then we have larges right here we have all sorts of different birds it's really not that many birds right now but that's why we're trying to tell you that's what i'm trying to tell you we're not at the level yet to be completely open to public whatsoever we have around five to ten customers right now and i want to be able to make sure that i'm able to supply these customers every single time they wanna buy. I wanna have loyal, good customers instead of going open to the public right now and then I sell it to everybody and then next week or next month when everyone comes back to try to buy some birds, they're like, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. I don't want that. So we want five to 10 customers right now to make sure we're able to supply everybody happily and good. So we'll bring all these birds to the brooders real quick. All right, so every other day we have to clean out all the trays inside of these pins. As you can see, this is one day and to buy tomorrow, all these birds need to be cleaned out. Over there, we have all of our breeders each rack we have around four males and 16 females so we're getting 16 eggs every single day from every single rack and we have around 80 females each rack so you do the calculation see that's how many eggs we're getting every day we have more holdbacks right here for birds for the future so we can have them for breeding and our goal for the back of this building right now is about have about 500 adult birds that's just in this section right here later on we'll move on to another part of the property and go triple the size by 2024 but for right now we're getting the hang of it we're getting the gist of it and figuring everything out me and my mom my sister and kenya my mom's pretty much the main hands-on lady back here why because i have to run the whole entire ranch and this is a business right here but i make sure everything is getting ran smoothly and good and everybody's healthy because she doesn't know exactly every little thing but she's learning it all really really well we put these wood planks here going all the way across you guys can stay right there come all over here and check all the birds out and you can see all day long we got nice fresh beautiful eggs right here we collect them all day long so we have these cages built we have one two and three the three racks up we put about 40 to 50 birds each one of these and we do different sizes so we do like our smalls our larges and our extra larges and then our brooders are right here we have one and two they have the plywood on the sides that keeps the heat in and then trays on the bottom the birds stay in here for about a week and a half to two weeks once they're able to start flying they get moved to their next enclosure and they start raising from there and then after that, if we're keeping them or we're not keeping them, if we're keeping them, they go onto this side. And if we're not keeping them, they get put out, unfortunately, and they go into the freezer for our customers. So we're going to get all these birds and we're going to dump them inside in just a minute. Sometimes birds are born with no eyes, so I look for all different types of deformities and all that stuff to make sure everything's good. The only reason why there would be deformities is if, you know, there's too much inbreeding. So every, like, once in a while, I get a new bloodline from somebody else so I can put it in here and mix it all up. We can drop them all inside of there and they're nice and good. And now the heat with South Florida has been so hot with one light is more than enough. And these birds are some of the best birds. They actually are great for meat and they are great for egg laying as well. These are not uh, hunting birds. These birds are not good for hunting. They don't really fly that well. They just, you know, just get real fat and that's pretty much it. Right, there we are. 
That is just about 100 birds, 100, 150 birds. We still have around another five to 600 birds that have to hatch out inside of that incubator over there. All right, there we are. See all the birds down in there. A ton of little birds. And they all change different colors as well. And then some of you guys might be wondering how to tell between a male and a female. We'll make sure you that real quick, real fast. Females have a ton of spots in the front. And then males. Well, that's a female as well. A ton of spots in the front. And these guys are ready to go into the breeding cages because they're already starting to lay eggs. You can see some of the eggs are still not solid yet because they're a little um, not old enough for the birds. But that's a nice male right there. Beautiful, nice male. We like to have different colors and all different sorts of things. But yeah, if you guys want to follow along more on what's going on here, you guys can see it on Instagram, Blake's Exotic Feeders on Instagram. That's where I'll be able to answer more questions and all of that cool stuff. So quick little video on what's going on in the back of the building here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. We'll have more videos of this shortly. If you guys are interested in these videos, let me know down in the comments. I'll answer all the questions as best as I can. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put your post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.